Hi. So, if you haven't figured out, I'm doing a mukbang <laughs> and a reaction video. So I'm going to watch YouTube videos and eat and drink. And we're going to get through this together. I have to eat a Singapore style noodle from the Chinese food restaurant. And it has shrimp and chicken and beef. And I have a couple of egg rolls. So I think I'm going to watch... Jeffree Star responds to James and Alicia Keys. So let's get started. Hello, everyone. This is your Captain Kaboom speaking. Hello. We saved the best for last. Yes, Jeffree lost a boom okay. star has gotten involved himself in the drama between Alicia Keys and James Charles. <laughs> of course he did. Of and Manny did. and Muir. Well, I saw this happening live as it first happened, and I was going mm -hmm. to talk about it yesterday, but James Charles started offering up his mea culpa apology, so we had to wait till tonight. So as always, these videos are simply for entertainment purposes only, not meant to be taken seriously whatsoever. Please. As she said in the disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please do not send anybody mentioned in this video hate. Because it will not be tolerated. So. We all know that Manny MUA is involved in this too. So don't forget that. Feel free to research all stories for yourself, come up with your own conclusions. Just because I say it, don't make it true. Only sharing okay. my own opinions, my commentary, what yep. I and how I feel, my opinions and not facts. Please don't leave anyone mention any mean spirited, negative, discouraging, disparaging comments. So, uh, mm -hmm. Jeffree Star, this is this is why I find him just a little bit endearing. Just a little, all right? I see all of you in the comments saying to me, do you no longer like Jeffree Star? I like everyone, except for the evil frog. He deserves a pay cut. Uh... I can't always agree with Jeffree Star. Sometimes I don't agree with him, and I speak up brands that have no business doing it. Yeah. And then... So this tweet was put out. I don't know who put it out first, if it was James Charles or if it was Manny MUA, saying that they're sick of people who don't wear makeup but come out with a whole makeup line. Because nobody else in the world is allowed to come out with a makeup line, right? Other than two boys. Out these now deleted tweets that say and then they people deleted them. Not wear makeup should not be coming out with makeup brands. That's just my opinion. Reworded the original tweet because people assumed I was shading my own. And everybody speculated who the tweet was actually about because they thought that it was about, um, uh. A bop singer. What's her name? With the ponytail. That used to go out with Mac Miller. Ariana Grande. I think. Yeah, Ariana Grande. They thought that they were shading her. But they said that they loved her. So it couldn't possibly be her. So. Own friends or people I love, which is not the case. And then Manny... We did the same thing. Manny called it, you know. A so it was to James that put it out first. Hysterical to me because Manny in the way has a makeup brand called Lunar Beauty, which I know is a very nice makeup brand. Actually, I like the makeup. And uh, sorry, did Manny not sell the huh. makeup in exchange for money. How is how is anybody right? going to accuse somebody else of trying to make money in business? Okay, James Charles then offered. Kaboom a tells it as it is. Saying that he had a micro against Alicia Keys and basically he apologized. I, in my opinion, what I think and how I feel, that apology was not genuine. 
So basically, you're saying, Karina, why did you just recap that? Hello, I have frogs to beat. No, just kidding. And attest to this really happened. Jeffree Star genuinely. So Jeffree Star said. Oh, he retweeted it. Why does Jeffree Star get his damn ass involved? But he doesn't follow Jeffrey James Charles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's some um, theories. Does Jeffree Star have a fake Twitter account? I will go so far as to say it's possible. Just my opinion, what I do, how I do, matter of fact. So, mm. James <clears throat> and Jeffree are. Does he? Uh, James doesn't follow Jeffree. They used to be great friends until Jeffree Star accused James Charles of various numerous terrible things. And recently, Jeffree Star apologized to James Charles for saying those things, not before he ran on King Star's mom's basement right. podcast and reiterated yeah. now the he's and now gave us an apology. The point is, they're enemies. Jeffrey accused James... Trying to backtrack. Of, okay, so why would they follow each other? They don't. You can go and check. They don't follow each other. They're not friends. So does Jeffree Star have, this is the first theory, my opinion, what I think and how I feel. It's possible that Jeffree has notifications on a different Twitter account for mm -hmm. James Charles and he was on that account. Or was behind shady door number two. It is possible that Jeffree Star uh, just looks at people's Twitter all the time. I love that he's such a larker. You're such a larker, Jeffree. My favorite thing that Jeffree Star has said this year was that he was upper management. Yeah, okay, lurking in the upper management. I'm just mm, mm, My mm. point here is this. If he doesn't follow James Charles and he doesn't follow James, he guarantee it be dark with the voice, though, right? Okay. Him. Anyways, and with me, that yeah, that's all, I guess. Came off really, I just think it was really petty what he did. I what genuinely else? feel... <laughs> Who's on the FBI most wanted list? Here we go. If you've been on the internet, Inform you overload know, you top know the Karen 10 is Karens that got recently, exposed. Especially now that wearing masks and other measures are mm. being put in place. And we all know Karens do not like to be told what to do. And since you guys like part one of this series so much, of course we're coming at you in part two and of the top uh, 10 Karens that went too far and got I don't exposed. remember her name. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mackenzie here, and today on IO, I'm going to be giving you guys the scoop on some more Karens that are going viral on the internet. And I know Jared was in the last one, but he couldn't make it up for this one, unfortunately. But these Karen stories are so entertaining, I'm hoping it'll still be a good time. And like I said before, the wildest part of some of these videos is that the Karen thought they were in the right and going to get support when they uploaded, you know, the footage, which shows just how out of touch these people are. And now, without further ado, let's get into the madness. Starting off with number 10, we have Coffee Karen. This first one might honestly be the most violent. Oh, is this I've one that seen. poops? Basically, it starts when two guys were sitting outside no. Manhattan Beach coffee shop about to eat. Then Karen and Ken come up to them and start going off on them for not wearing masks, even though they are outside and not really close to anyone. The groups went back and forth for a bit, and it all seems like pretty cordial conversation until the Karen decides to throw her hot coffee on one of the guys. And after this, he ends up pouncing on the Ken, and the pair end up fighting with this guy until it's broken up, and the Ken has a oh very good nose. Then the situation gets even worse when the Ken decides to call the cops and tell them that he's <laughs> just a but obviously fails to mention how he started this whole thing by firstly coming up to them at all, then secondly throwing the coffee completely unnecessarily. And then the video ends with the cops showing up. <laughs> and obviously these guys were in the wrong for not wearing masks. And the guy's long, shirt's all right, ripped up and stuff. coffee on someone is not only a but will also your boyfriend punched in the face. <laughs> and at number nine, fat shaming Karen. And we don't only have anti-maskers in this one. We're diversifying with our Karens here. And this one is a Karen fat shaming an Instagram model. Influencer Karina Irby is the designer of Moana Bikini and has more than 1.1 million followers on Instagram. And she has many skin conditions, such as eczema. But over the weekend, she shared a message from a Karen who claimed her weight may be the reason for her skin problems. Mm -hmm. It looks to be a DM where the Karen claims that she, quote, used to follow her but hadn't for a while. And I just had a look back at her profile. Then dropping... Trying not to be rude. I'm not trying to be rude, but I but feel like her skin be rude. issues, etc. May have started when you started putting on weight. Then adding, maybe try and lose some weight and see if Gross. it lessens a little bit for you. Can only Gross. 
and put hun at Dude, the end. And this is so crazy because she's literally not overweight, like, what a, whatsoever. Like, I have no idea what weight this Karen that's thinks so she rude. needs to lose. Like, I don't literally see anything. But Karina decided to clap back, replying, quote, FYI, Karen, I was born with these skin conditions. It's people like you that make people like us feel like they have to feel ashamed, embarrassed, and cover ourselves up. And I am so happy we're also telling Karen's off online now. And at number eight, gas station Karen. This one is actually kind of a case of a Karen getting what was coming to her. So this one started out in a gas station with some people already in the gas station. Then Karen walks in when she needs help with a pump. Then when the Karen wants to cut in line in front of the people that were already standing there, the Karen was heard saying, quote, go back to her own country, before telling the clerk behind the counter not to serve this other person. The person's probably American. Back and forth and screaming, it builds up to a face-to-face -face altercation. Or it's hard to tell kind of exactly what's happened, but it seems like the woman lightly shoved the Karen. Just because somebody's skin is not white doesn't make them not Canadian or not American. So gross that people think that. Like we've evolved, but we haven't evolved. And it makes me mad that there's still people out there that are teaching their kids to disconnect. And it's disgusting. I just wanted to put that out there. So this is what that was about. Because she was getting too close to her face. Then the Karen pushed her back much harder with the other woman then going all in and slapping her in the face. Then it all Good. ends with the Karen leaving while the cameraman tells her why it was her fault that that all went down. And although I definitely don't think the women should have ever put hands on each other, it's a reminder that you never know what people are going to do if you start an altercation with someone. And at number seven, Trader Joe's Karen. That's this right. Trader Joe's. Yes, when smack down. The store and started shopping without a mask on, even though it was their policy. The clip is really short, so you can't really... Oh, I'm getting full. Oh, my goodness. Eyewitnesses filled in some of the holes. But in the video, you can see the character screaming like, at a bunch of the employees. A and then tiny bit of what's in here. She decides to throw her basket to the ground and storm out while calling everyone Democratic pigs. Then she tries to give her side of the story, saying, quote, that man harassed me for not wearing a mask. I have a breathing problem. My doctor wouldn't let me wear a mask. So anyone harassing me to wear a mask, you guys are violating federal law. Get that on camera. Then when this picked up a lot of media coverage, she told ABC yippity, 7 that yippity, the reason yippity, she yippity. got so hostile is because the man that first right. encountered her was swearing unnecessarily at her, and she felt harassed and in danger. And even though I can see where she's coming from, like this guy didn't need to get so vile. So <clears> I swear unnecessarily. It doesn't mean that I'm violent. Screaming <laughs> in the store and like throwing her basket and all that other stuff. And at number six, papers, Karen. This next one was when a Karen stopped someone from doing their job. A California <sighs> Karen blocked the landscaper from working because she refused to move out of the way until he showed documentation that proved that he was in the U.S. legally. And sadly, the landscaper told TMZ that it was not the first time she had harassed him before, also telling him to go back to his own country. In the video, you can see that he was mowing the lawn in Palm Springs. And the woman walks around him, stopping him from going anywhere. And she just keeps asking just... him for his papers before the video ends up cutting out. And even though she's being recorded, <laughs> it's her face being <laughs> completely out of line. Up at number five, measuring tape Karen. This one isn't freaking out because of her lax nature about the virus, but instead because of how seriously she is taking it. In the short video, all you can mm -hmm. see is this Karen with her measuring tape out, screaming at the top of her lungs that she's protecting her family. Well, it looks like her husband is trying to pull her away. Embarrassing. The other woman that was filming, they were at the beach. Like, you don't get away away from, from my family. family. She identified herself as a nurse and took out the measuring oh, tape I to probably see. show what six feet looked like. And I'm sure that the Karen felt that they weren't social distancing. But since she was pretty close to them while screaming at them, she looks I'm really psychotic. She could actually be caring about social distancing. Kind of hypocritical. Then I'm kind of. The dentist Karen. This Karen was caught up at the dentist when she refused to wear a mask. It's hard to know what happened before this, but you can my hear her speaking take with my insurance right I now. Assume, who tells her that she won't be able to get her teeth cleaned unless she wears a mask. The Karen seems to be very shook by this information and tries to justify the fact that she doesn't want to wear a mask by saying, quote, you're going to work on my teeth, not my nose. 
Then when they are still firm on the policy, she asks if she can just hold her hand over her face, but that's obviously rejected too. Then when the office says that they also need to take her temperature for her to come in, she loses it, claiming that it's illegal for them to take her temperature because they're not doctors. And just an FYI, that is not a thing and makes no sense. Everyone is checking temperatures these days. Then she keeps going that she's going to sue them for harassing her. And that she actually spoke with her lawyer before she went in to make sure of that. And side note, if that's true, this woman's seriously losing it. Like consulting your lawyer before you leave your house because you know you're going to get yourself I had to put that teddy bear there because... Then in at number three, insurance care. You could see me. Yet another case of a Karen doing something wrong. I'm sitting cross-legged. ...to save herself but it failing miserably. This one starts off the man Which is how I usually always sit on my bag. By the Karen, and her refusing to give over her <sighs> and insurance until she calls the cops. Which I don't think that I can eat any more. And she feels threatened. Insurance I always say that though and I take another bite. The video with her responding to that quote, I do want to give you the insurance. I just got to call 911 first. But then her telling the cops that she's afraid of him. Then at the end of the video, after making this whole problem, she admits she didn't even have the insurance in the first place. Then up at number two, SoCal Karen. This next one is incredibly vile and just shows how insanely entitled some people can be. Last this one fight. went down in California, where a young woman was working out on a set of stairs in an open park. Then the Karen walks down the stairs right where she is when she literally could have went down any other set of stairs and kind of hits her as she's leaving. Then the woman Loki calls her up by saying, you know, Jesus or something like that that you kind of do. And this is when the woman goes off. She then gets all up in her face and tells her that she better watch it or she's going to quote, get her ass kicked by her family. She then continued to spout off other profanities until it got racial, telling her to go back to whatever country she came from. Then she ends it all off by calling her out for wearing black clothes when it's hot and sunny out. Like, these characters really do have the nerve. It's so loud. Calling her out because she's People wearing black are clothing. Like, nuts. And then lastly, we have Costco Karen, who is mm. definitely the most mature on this list. You'll see what I mean in a minute, trust me. When the video starts, it looks like the Karen has asked to speak to the manager, <laughs> classic. Then the manager asks why she's not wearing the mask, hinting to if she has some sort of medical condition. Then the woman says she doesn't have a condition, but she still doesn't need to wear the mask because she's a United States citizen. Okay. Then the employee calls her out saying that they can make any rules that they want and then points out that the Karen could literally just wear the mask that she has dangling from her ear oh. instead of causing a problem for no It must reason. be so hard for older people to comprehend this that's going on then when the employee in their safe, fashion, safe world. They never Karen takes it even further and sits comprehend that something could come then into their Tiny existence and throw a wrench in a in a reality that they never thought could be tainted. It blows my mind how delusional people are, and they think that there's just this happy little bubble in this world. This world is. Excuse me. Now I have. My food is settling. This is their bubble and it's the earth and any, like everything that happens inside of this bubble is supposed to be good and happy and so it's hard for other people to comprehend that this thing that's out there right now is real and dangerous and scary and needs to be taken seriously. It is scary. And um, we don't know how things are going to end. So people need to take it seriously. But I feel bad for the older people who have just lived their whole life in this bubble. And they think that um, nothing can affect them. But it can. And those are the people that I feel the worst for because it's harder for those people to come to grips that there are, it's, it's not uh, a bubble world. It's a real life and real life can mess you up real bad if you're not watching.
And why does one wrinkle come from here and one wrinkle come from here? Like, what is wrong with my face? I feel like that. Maybe I should do that. And it'll stretch them out the other way. Oh well. That's my face. Anywho, that's my video. <laughs> if you're here to there and you... If you're here to now, thank you for watching. And uh, I don't even really know what that was. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not too many people watch my videos, so it probably will never get watched. So, that's okay. I will talk to you later.